we recording. We back, y'all. We live. Y'all see it? Recording started. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, y'all's favorite crew is back. As you see, all four of us are back. Y'all been waiting for us. Y'all been missing us. We said we was gonna do so. You think you can dance? That season was not so. You think you can dance? But we back for the fourth time. Y'all realize we done did this four years in a row now. This is the fourth year of doing it. Dang, it has oh, been really? four years. Oh my god! Wow. Yes, I was twenty. I was twenty six. You started it sounds season like season. First. it's time for them to cut a check. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for real. I was 26 when we did it the first time. I am now 29 years old. That tells you how old and how long we've been Hey, I thought she was 30. I'm about hey, to be. Like, no, I came on later. Because I definitely... What was the first no, You came... It was the same... The first season I started... I did it the first week by myself. The second two weeks after that, it was me and Ross. And then y'all and came me and Lily week, week, week five. Oh, I can't remember. What season was that? <laughs> 30 or 29? 30. Yeah, season 30. So it was 30. Oh, 30. Okay, yeah, it was 30. It was oh, a season okay. with Iman and Daniela. Oh, okay, so it was that season. season. And then 31, 32, 33. We had 33 now. So, All right. Let's get into it. Y'all ready? It's time, to, it's time to cut up. But uh, let's talk about this opening number. The opening number, I liked it. I liked the music. I liked the choreography. I liked the camera work. I liked the fact that they used all of the set. I liked the fact that all of the dancers were dancing like they wanted to be there. Thoughts? Okay. I put... Okay, I know y'all don't like her, but Riley was cute. She was cute in this number. She was cute. She was doing it. <laughs> I liked her little hip hop section. I thought she did it a little too hard for me. Whitney would hit that thing smooth. Whoa, she wouldn't whoa. have been doing too much, Whitney, but she was excited. Whitney, so I'll give it to her. Stop comparing her to Whitney. Stop comparing her to Whitney. I liked it. I liked yeah, it. it. I don't good. have any notes for anybody who's new here. I can't watch live, so I don't have as many notes as them. But I thought it was good. West Coast. <laughs> One yeah. thing about Jamal Sims, I will say, that man knows how to choreograph, and he knows how to choreograph good as hell. And I've seen it numerous occasions. You got an ear for music. All right, and I also miss Tyra. I'm going to say it every single season. I miss Tyra Banks. Like, I miss her crazy, <laughs> outlandish. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I need that type of, like, unhingedness when it comes to the hosting. True. But I feel like the show itself tonight was pretty good. What did y'all think about the cast as a whole? We'll get into it, but as a whole. Nah. It's better than I thought it would be. Yes. Okay, yeah. Actually, this I actually like, because there's a few characters that like I thought I wouldn't care about that I actually care about. But... Mm -hmm. It's actually crazy, and I like Alfonso. Uh, Julian, she cool or whatever. I like Alfonso. I think he fits for the show. I would like Alfonso and Tyra. That would have been. They could have just kept that. That would have been. That's like cute. Yeah, they should have kept. They should have kept Alfonso and Tyra because exactly. And Julian, Julian like is just. Julian. And Julian. One day she could be. Where I like Julian is on the dance floor. Yeah. She should have got a celebrity. Thank you. Like I feel like Her Julian. Day. I feel like Julian. I mean, they're just cool behind the table. I'm cool with him back there. But Julianne, I feel like Julianne thinks she is too above being a pro. Like, oh, you're not goodness. doing anything outside of the show, really. Like, at least to my knowledge, y'all remember when she quit the show and then she started, like, doing this acting thing and it just went nowhere. Mm -hmm. And then she tried to sing, too, and it went nowhere. So why don't you just come back and be a dancer? Yeah, she tried to sing. Yeah, girl. Now you know. She, her calling is After the dance. But all right, let's go. Anyway, who got that going on in the background? What's that noise in the background? Is that kid? As always, you need to mute yourself. Get him. Yeah, mute yourself when you get when you get cracking out there. But we're gonna start. First couple, we got Joey Grazade, the Bachelor, with Jad Johnson dancing a cha cha to "Dancing in the Country" by Tyler Hubbard. Never heard the song before. Joey, I didn't. I don't watch The Bachelor, 
I've only watched the seasons with the black main people. But Joey, I've seen on social media. I feel like I've seen him before he got casted on the show, so I knew of him. He seemed like a cool dude before I even saw him here, so I was already going to root for him. But then seeing what we've seen through social media, like little clips of what he has put together with them little TikToks of him and Jenna did, I was expecting him to be good. And he delivered for me. Like these two together, they look like brother and sister. They literally look like they could be siblings. He got hella potential because he got natural rhythm. He was, Jenna gave him a, Jenna gave him a dance that was nothing to fuck around with for it being week one. Like it was fast as fuck. The music, I feel like it was because of the music, but he was, he was in time with Jenna. Yes, he could have had sharper technique, but he got the rhythm. He got the performance quality. He's exciting to watch. Him and Jenna match each other well. I liked it. Okay. As somebody that is a Joey fan, because <laughs> I watched his season, I literally am part of Bachelor Nation, for better or for worse. But um, I love him. He's so cute. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't care. I was going to give him a seven regardless. So that's just how I know. <laughs> but that's, um, he, I'm so glad that he actually is. He's got potential. And I think Jenna, like, I don't ever give her her tens, but I think that she'll bring the best out of him. And I like this partnership. I like this for him. I think he'll definitely go to the finals. He's got that like personality that the, you know, the casual fans will like. And you know, he's a white man. It looks nice. So he's gonna easily get <laughs> into the finals. So I love that for him. Um, Jenna unfortunately has to be on my client list by proxy. Congratulations, girl. <laughs> um, you have made it. But. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, by proxy, she has made it. But yeah, this is really cute. I like the choreo too. It like um it pushed him. So I liked it. It was a really good first dance. I love this for him. Uh yeah, and y'all know Jenna is not my cup of tea, but and as someone who don't watch Bachelor like Lily does, um from what I've seen of him. I actually like this partnership. Jenna, I'll never give you a 10, but you did your thing with that with tonight. You start you started out on the right track. Let's see if we can go up now. I thought it was Sorry. really good. I like him and I like Jenna. I'm a retired Jenna fan. She oh might be God. making a comeback with Joey. But it was really good, Not especially for week Jenna one. Fan. <laughs> I think it was really good for week one. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. I liked it. My score that I gave the dance itself, I gave it a seven. Jenna's choreography, I gave an eight. Lily, what's yours? Yeah, I had the same thing. I believe the same thing. Our choreography was an eight. It's, he executed at a seven. So yeah, yeah, yeah seven for. Seven for the dance itself, eight for the choreo. Also, Rose. seven for the dance, eight for the choreo. So okay, we're all on the same page on the first dance. Oh, yeah. Okay. My God. Like like the, like <laughs> the it's going to be a good season. Well, look, and then I want to make this a point, too, because y'all know we can get hard, and we probably will get hard on them pros and maybe the dancers, too. I said I would, coming into this, I said I'm going to give them a clean slate. I'm going to try and let everybody prove to me this season that they actually trying to put some shit together. Wait, we'll see if it stays that way. Did we say that everybody? We all think we said that about everybody. That's what we're I said. Gonna, yeah, we're going to get to it, though, because there's one exception that just will never, ever, ever. <laughs> never. Yeah, or two and I'm pretty sure we're all the same. One or two exceptions. <laughs> one or two exceptions for me, unfortunately. Never. We'll, we'll get to it. All right, let's move on mm-hmm. to the horrors of, <laughs> the, the season, the two that we already know are fucking, like, let's keep it real, allegedly, but not allegedly. Look at their TikToks. Brooks Nader and Glenn, let's, the model. Let's put emphasis on allegedly because we know what y'all like to be doing. I ain't getting you know what y'all like to be doing. Come on, let's. But they danced the tango to Peace of Me by Britney Spears. I feel like the song was fitting for her um, because clearly he wants a piece of her and maybe she wants to give him a piece of her. So, I mean, it's pretty funny, but the tango itself, I feel like the dance itself, I feel like they were, I feel like the choreography was too fast for her. That's number one. Number two, she was ahead of the music 
Then she got behind the music, and then Gleb was dragging her across the floor. The frame wasn't tight. She looked choppy during the little, when they were in hold and they were doing like the cross turns across the floor. She looked like she was trying her best to keep up with him. He was dragging her across. I feel like she has potential because it's clear she can hit a line and looks like she might actually have some potential. But I don't know. These two, I feel like these two out of everybody, my rough prediction right now, I feel like next week they're going to be gone. That's my opinion. Wait, really? I don't want it because I want the mess, but I feel like they're going to be gone. No. I have an interesting take on this. Because it's like, at first I thought like, I thought they were going to give like uh, a little like forbidden, like in the sense of they weren't going to be mainstream, like they're not going to push the showman, but I should have known they were because like they look how they look. But it's giving, it's yeah. giving Jana, Jan, what was his partner? Jana and Glenn. Jana. It's giving, it's giving that, but like more obviously, like I think Jana yeah. was in like a toxic relationship. I don't know what she had going on when she was with Glenn, but it's giving that except for she's single. So I, I just feel like this is now. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, now I don't know what is this girl? <laughs> she a model? What is she? Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, she's super pretty. Like face is T cute. She looked a mess though. So can I believe she's twenty seven years old? No, she. Don't I saw that she is twenty seven years old. Yeah, she looked older than me. Yeah, she she looked like she's a good thirty four. A thirty four. Oh, it ain't old, but I thought she was like. A, I thought she was older than me, but twenty seven is crazy. But okay. That's what I'm gonna say, but yeah, I, don't, what you I don't like them. Oh. I don't like them together. I'm gonna be a hater. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kid. Uh what I literally said was uh, what Mira Lily, if next week they're not gone. Honestly, I see them being a double casualty. It's just a point of these it's fans. two people going home next week. Yeah. It's two people. Yes, double elimination. Oh, they're yeah, definitely going yeah. home. I they're definitely like, going wait, home. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you know, I'm out of here. Well, I know for sure one person is going home, but I think no, I think she's gonna survive because there's two. There's two for sure that's about to go home before her. You, yeah, I don't want to go. That's why I say she's not a double casualty. The fan, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be slow. She's probably gonna be in the bottom after if she survives. So it's like, I mean, it wasn't. Bad, but it also wasn't good in the same breath. It was bad. I was gonna say it was definitely bad. It wasn't. It yeah, wasn't good. It wasn't even like bad. Oh yeah, let me. Let me stop, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I said I was gonna stop lying. They I said I was gonna stop lying this year in these recaps. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lying. It they was spent bad, too much time doing it. it. I support it. If I was her, I would be on the show to do the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, right. what you're going to be on the show to do with Glad, man. We're going to give her those votes. Wait, let's talk about... Give us I don't, I, wait, I don't care about the dance, but there was a few funny parts. <laughs> that's why it was like everything but the dance was entertaining. That's why I said it was said, bad, but it was funny. When he said hot tango, why was immediately when that package came on, they was already flirting with each other like, be serious. I know. And she said something like, like "We're gonna we're gonna flirt right now, but we're not gonna try and distract ourselves." But y'all been on TikTok, borderline fucking on TikTok, and it's clear y'all been doing that the whole time you've been rehearsed. Because what the hell did, was that? <laughs> like, didn't you say that she said she came in this thing single? She said she said she was happy. recently single. She said I, I'm recently single, which means to well, me. She probably dropped that nigga when she found out that she was like, <laughs> there was like. Women. There was like a GMA interview, and they were like, "Oh, what are you guys? What are you guys gonna do if you win?" And she was like, "Put the mirror ball in our house together." <laughs> Wait, I saw that. Y'all didn't see that. That I did. I'm gonna find it. Send it to y'all. I saw that. Okay. All right, scores. I gave the performance itself a four. I gave the choreography a five. But they got six, 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 18 out of 30. What was y'all scores? Uh, I gave the choreo score seven because I love Glib. I will always support him. And I gave a, a what? <laughs> it was not bad choreo for her. She didn't perfect it. Oh, it was horrible. It was it too was- bad. 
Anyway, Glenn should have known better. Like that's your beginner. <laughs> that's your beginner. Like Jenna gave Joey something oh, fast, but Joey it. could actually handle it. Yeah, she couldn't handle said, it. I'm gonna drag you across this floor. Exactly. Yeah, and I was four four. Yeah, it was it was executed at a four level. Four for my score, dance, it, the choreograph itself, I think I gave it a five. <laughs> I gave the choreo Gross. and the dance a five because I was eating the dance up. I was eating it up. I love them together. If I can't have him, she gonna have him. <laughs> she definitely gonna have him. <laughs> but we gonna move on to Alona Meyer, 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 the rugby player, who I really like her. I like her personality. And Alan, who y'all know I'm not the biggest fan of. <laughs> But they're dancing a cha 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 I don't really know what to say about this one because the choreography, I feel like, it, well, this is a part about Alan. The first, like, three eight counts, I feel like the choreography did not go with the music at all. Like, it was super fat. Like, when they was doing these little cha-cha steps, it was like step here, step here, but it was not on the beat at all, and Alan wasn't on the beat either. So I was like, eh. And then it got worse and worse throughout. I was like, this is rough. And I can't even explain why I felt like it was rough. It just didn't. It wasn't pleasing to the eye. And I hate it because I like her and I want her to do well. And I love how she, at the end of the scores, when she got the score, she jumped up and acted a fool because she was like, I know I did not deserve this score. <laughs> but She knew she was over score. We love a real person. We love a person who knows their worth. <laughs> not their worth. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like her personality. Yeah. So I'm going to be nice. But it was very cringy. Um, I'm, and I hate this word, but like it was cringy. Like I kind of wanted to not watch. But um, she needs more hip action for sure. She is very, um, see, I'm about to come off mean, but it is giving very, <laughs> it's giving very, mm, I want to go ahead and say, it. go ahead and say it. It's giving me. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving yeah. butch. It's giving, so we just got to tone that down. But in like, she sings along to the song, Eat Down, yeah, girl. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's like potential there. But it would have to be like, she would have to have like Mark or somebody for her to like be like amazing. But she, <laughs> it's going to be, um, it's going to be rough. But I could see a lane where she improves. I could see it, but. Not with Alan. You know what? And that's what I was gonna say. This y'all been saying it the past couple seasons, bring him back. I feel like Keo would have been good for her. Oh, for some yes, reason, I feel like yes. height wise, they would have matched up. Thank you. I feel like that's in terms one. of like masculinity wise, I don't want to say Alan's not masculine, but Alan just to me mm -hmm. acts like a boy, mm -hmm. like a young boy. And she's mm -hmm. she's a woman, like she's a big woman, and I feel like Keo is more of a man. Keo would have been able to handle her. Even the two true guys, the the new ones, I feel like from what we saw from them, I feel like they would have possibly handled her better here too. But I don't know. We'll see. This is the first answer. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them some leeway. But we'll see. Rose and Kid, what's y'all thoughts on this before we move on? Every every everyone gets a weak grace period, but literally it was just like what, which way we're going from which way are we going from this way are we going up or are we going down which one because it just like you say it gradually went down as time so I don't know no. it was bad but like her partner is Alan so I thought she looked amazing I love her the costume looked really good on her actually like they did really well with that but no. Alan it's just never gonna give if you're with Alan. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, scores. I gave her a four. I hate giving her a four because I like her, but that was a four at most. Um, mm -hmm. and then the choreography was a four for me as well. I gave them both fives, both fives. 
Okay. I gave I gave her a five and the choreo a four. Okay, okay. bro. I gave her a four and I gave the choreo a six because I feel like oh. it was great for Alan, right? Ooh, like, cool. it wasn't yeah, that was good. Okay, Carrie. Okay, like, she just didn't. I feel like people be doing too much on Atlas. Okay. I thought yeah. I was hearing a two coming. The, the, I, he still spent too much time in the back. You know, I can't stand oh, yeah. Alan's choreography because he spent too much time in the back. Use the, use the floor. <laughs> he does love the back. That's the, that's the one thing about that's the one thing about Alan that I always be like, dude, you have an entire stage. Why do you just stay in the back for not no, he stand in the the I know. Why she say he was a tough coach? Like, he don't give that's what, that's Yeah, that. I like. That's yeah, what I I'm like, I was like, Alan is not a, and then I, st- and then I stopped myself. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm like, when it comes to these pros that's on the show, the toughest one that you would get would be Val. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's but funny. okay. And if, and if we're she, bringing back yeah. to tough coach Max. <laughs> well, yeah, Max. Well, he ain't there. But six, exactly. six, six, six we 18 out of 30 for them. We're going to move on. <laughs> we're going to move on. <laughs> To Reginald Bell Johnson and or well, better known as Carl you know, from Family Matters. And Emma dancing to my song. This is one of my favorite boys to men songs, Motown Philly, doing the salsa. The music was slowed down. I was mad. I was like, this is some real nigga music. No, it wasn't. It was too slow. But then again, whenever the dance started, I was like, okay, this is why it's slow. Because he, st- the first, I started writing the first, I started typing, I said the first three A counts, he stood there. Emma's dancing around him. Then I realized the entire dance, he didn't even really, <laughs> he stood in the same spot the whole time. He might have did a front with cha-cha step and then a side cha-cha step, but that was it. He ain't moved the whole time. And I hollered laughing. <laughs> can we, can we, can I, can we just say he did not miss a step though? Yeah, this was so did Emma was strategic. She was so cute. Emma, Emma, see, Emma know how to play the game long, but I wish I wish Britt would have did this. I wish <laughs> Britt would have did this because Emma oh, Emma played it right. Oh, Britt. Britt was trying oh, Britt. to make her celebrity dance, <laughs> but it was not working. <laughs> but we'll get to it. Thoughts? That was that was a better dance than any dance Harry did last year. I thought he was so cute, and that's what the score is based He's on. Very kind-hearted, very kind-hearted. <laughs> that's exactly what the score gave him. What the score gave him? Aaliyah, I have tears in my eyes because. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I swore that he was probably. I thought he was going to eat a little bit more. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why, but. <laughs> I don't know why you thought that. <laughs> I thought because he was in his package, like he kind of fooled me because he was like, in my past life, like I did. Well, something he said. <laughs> the man is seventy-two years old. That past life was some some lives ago. <laughs> yeah, thought, wait, how old was Barry again? I thought he was gonna get Barry. I didn't. Th- I thought Britt's partner might get Barry. Oh, I didn't. I really? wasn't expecting Mr. Oldberg oh. to get no. I thought, but yeah, like, I love like, thought Brent's partner was. His personality. A... I really like his personality, so I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going to even talk about the dance. He's old and cute, okay? So I'm going to respect that. Emma Tear is kind of tea, kind of. Um, we're going to talk about everything but this dance. <laughs> you like the hair? It's I don't like it. No, no, no. She said, like she said kind of. I actually don't like it on her, but I see the vision. I don't like it on her though. But I yeah. like Jenna's hair. Jenna's with that little bit of red in it. I, I like that red. Like red. But it was cute. I don't. I have an unpopular opinion. Motown Philly. Can we just stop it? I've heard that song. A it is overused. Times. It's, it's getting it's, overused. Whitney. And you like, want to know? Don't forget. But, but you know. But you. I, but you know what? Uh-huh. Whitney's was good. But you know. But it pains me to say it. Well, I can't. And this girl, Lindsay's was the best. It's because Juan Ray was. It was really good to Juan Ray, to be honest. That's why it I really said was. that. She I, would, hey, she I never give Lindsay props, but Lindsay was the best. That's one of her dances. I will actually Whitney go back and rewatch Juan it every now and then. What if Whitney had one? Oh, yeah, Whitney would have told me. 
Sorry, Lindsay, but Lindsay oh, would have been to the back. I got sidetracked, but he's so cute and old. God bless his heart. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Scores. I, I'm going to let y'all go because I got a score. I'm going to be nice. Four and four. It, it, that's it. I did three and Eight. three. <laughs> okay. I said three and four. Fair. I put two for the dancing. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. I put a five for the choreo. Because like I said, oh. Emma was smart. Yeah, she Emma knew what she was dealing with. So she made she danced around him. He didn't look bad. Like he he dead ass did not look no, bad. He, he did all his steps. No, he was he did. He looked good doing them. Yeah, he did. Which I wish, like I said, we're gonna get to it. But I wish Britt took that same strategy. But Britt was actually trying to do her job as a coach and a teacher, a dance teacher, and make her dance a dance. But we'll get to it. Next, we got the realest nigga on the block back in the house. Our girl, y'all know we've been waiting for. All season, all last year. We were so bored last year. Blackney is back. She is back. <laughs> I it. wish she didn't lose as much weight because I love oh. Whitney with the curves. Look good. But she looked good, though. She, she lost some weight. Whitney done had that baby and said, I'm She gay. always looked good. She always looked good. I know, but she with the curves. The cur- she had that perfect hourglass figure where her hips was just... Mm. But anyways, Whitney looked good. She's with Danny. <laughs> What's his name? Amandola. Amandola. Oh, how do you say it? Amandola. Amandola. The Patriots. I don't know. Yeah, he played for the Patriots. I ain't. I ain't know him. I watch football religiously, so I don't even remember him. Yeah, but yeah. um, no, I barely paid attention to the Patriots because I couldn't stand <laughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> but uh, Whitney, Whitney looked good. The choreography looked good. He had good frame. Like he's got pigeon toes. But he hit every step. He took care of Whitney. He led her the entire dance. His frame was good. So I didn't think it was bad. Like, I feel like he he had definitely had some room to grow. But I didn't think it was that bad. I agree. For week one, I thought it was as good as it could possibly get. Yeah, I said that was a solid. Mm-hmm. They, they did a tango, right? Yep. They did. Yeah, I was like, that's a solid. That, that was a solid takeoff for week one. Yeah, it was good. I like the choreography a lot. Um, actually, for him, like it looked good on him. I actually don't care about this mm-hmm. one. I only care about Whitney. But uh, the, <laughs> her face. Oh, she <laughs> looks good. Exactly. I'm sorry. It's snatched. It's giving snatched. Her face is giving snatched. So I think one day, that's one thing we're gonna respect. And she'll never, ever, ever look crazy. Jay, what are you doing? <laughs> she got them titties done too. <laughs> and Whitney came back looking right. In her costume, Whitney came back looking right. She's the costume department's favorite. Like she never gonna be in a bad outfit. So she can't ever look bad for her. She ate that. She ate it up. He attempted to. So congrats to him. He did enough. <laughs> yeah, he did enough. <laughs> it kind of worked. I say he was stiff, but it kind of worked. Yeah. Um, I think she will do miracles on this man. God bless. Me too. <laughs> me too. Before we give our score for them, let me give that score for Reginald. He had a six. Carrie Ann's crazy. A six from her <laughs> and two fives. And 16 out of five. Read, Carrie Ann read my tweet. That's she all was I'm being saying. nice. She was being too nice. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> too nice. But for Whitney and Danny, I gave the dance itself a five. The choreography, I gave a seven. Same. Okay. I gave the choreo an eight and the dance a six. Oh, okay. Okay. I gave dance a six, choreo seven. Okay. And they got two sevens and a six from Derek 20 um, out of 30. Do we know if Danny is, uh, he got a wife or something? I don't want to say what I need to happen if he got, well, actually, I don't care. (laughs) I don't think so. (laughs) If. I well, you, feel like Danny and I got a plan. Danny and Jen. Danny, Danny and Jen. Jen. Walk with me, Jen. I knew he was going to say that. Danny and Jen. Walk with me, Jen. You know Walk Jen want to be You know Walk Jen looking for an NBA player. No. What, you need to go with NFL, child. I'm about to get he you. Got the, yeah, NFL money. He still got he NFL money Danny and he got rings. Man. He looks better than that Struce man. Danny and Jen. How do I make this happen? I made and not only that, he's not, he's not active in the league. 
He's exactly. not active in the league. He can spend time with her. Okay, exactly. I made Britt and her little boyfriend happen. I'm going to make this happen. Her husband. You definitely oh, made them more. You definitely made that. You was the one that caught it before it even became a thing. But, yeah, what you're saying is true. Because, like, being with Max Struess, they got 81 games a year. And if he gets to the postseason, that's more games than she's going to be. That's what. The NBA season is, what, nine months out the year? Like, she ain't going to be with that nigga half the year. Mm-hmm. But, um... <laughs> We're going to move on to crazy crackhead ass Tori Spelling and Pasha's boring ass. They did a Foxtrot that was equally as boring as him. <laughs> uh, did, y- did y'all watch I Love Money too? Y'all was babies. Y'all probably didn't. Watch. Rose might have been able to see it. But have y'all seen I, I Love Money too before? No, I've heard of it though. <laughs> I've heard of it, but never watched it. Okay, I'm about to show y'all who she... Tori Spelling right now Looks like Frenchie from I Love Money too, and I'm about to show y'all who she is. <laughs> oh <my laughs> y'all gonna God. tell me because the way in the in the in their rehearsals, she looked just like her. That work to the face is too much. Oh, I mean, no, I'm like Tori oh, yeah. <laughs> like Emma. What? Oh, what? <laughs> Don't do Emma. Did I just blur myself yeah. out? Who doing it? Okay, yes, you did. <laughs> but Tori Spelling, she looked like she was having fun, but that's all I got for it. I couldn't even critique it. I couldn't critique it. I was over here laughing. Yeah, that was it was that bad. <laughs> yeah, I was like, bro, let's hurry up and get this thing over with. Let's say it. Tori is on up. drugs. I hope y'all know this, so I'm not going <laughs> to talk too bad about her. <laughs> Okay. She, and she been on them drugs. She been on she on them same drugs that uh, <laughs> Carrie Ann's on. Why did she sit up there lying? I think all? Carrie Ann's on harder. No, but Tori was lying. She walked up in that y'all should have saw that package. She walked up in there and she said, "I've declined thirty two seasons." Nobody was asking for Tori spell author. She might be. She might have though, because I've seen her name. I feel like I've seen her name a couple times in the rumors yeah, like in Tori previous seasons. A little bit. Tori was <laughs> <laughs> she might not be though. <laughs> I feel like they would get her because back in the day she was a lot more. She was more in yeah, the news. She would have said yes. Like now I'm she's sorry. died off a little bit. That's why she's yeah. doing it now because she's died off. Like she yeah, has no true, relevancy. Yeah. That's true. Tori was like, and then the other thing, how is she still divorcing this man? Now there's some things that y'all need to know. Right. I I'm like, y'all should have been exactly. When I was young, I used to watch this show out of boredom. That Tory Hollywood life show that she had on oxygen, <laughs> and she was still dealing with these same problems. The way she would be crying, <laughs> get out of my house. She would, she would have a whole. Fit. Oh my I'm god! Like, well, she together. was with the same man. This is the same man that like, I saw on my TV screen. <laughs> yeah, her and her, them two is like Kendra, uh, Kendra and Hank. Remember, okay. Kendra was on the show too, but Hank. <laughs> They they remind me so much of each other. Like, are they, are we gonna really <laughs> they put up with these niggas for too long. Yeah, I was like, I was like, wasn't this like a decade ago? But she seemed excited. She did, in fact, look a mess. But let's get on Pasha. Why? That's not a fox trot. <laughs> he dragged her around. I couldn't tell what it was at first because when she was I on know. the ground, I'm like, is this a cha cha? <laughs> and then they got up, and then they got in the frame. I'm like, is this a tango? And then she started smiling. I'm like, oh, I guess it's a fox try. <laughs> I couldn't tell I what it was. What she's doing out there. It's waste scary. of time. Yeah, it scared me. Anyway, <laughs> funny. Of time. I hope she stays for a little bit. She kind of funny. <laughs> she's crackish, so we need to have her there for the crack. Because I guarantee you, I feel like if she keeps getting low scores, I feel like she's gonna cut somebody out, and I want to see. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's gonna end Four and four. She's gonna be there. I feel like she. I feel like she's gonna be fine. We're gonna get to the predictions at the end, but I gave her a. Th- well, I'm gonna give you. She got a six, a six, five, and seventeen out of thirty. Crazy. My score: a three for the dancing, a four for the choreography. <laughs> I, I said the same four. thing. Four, 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 four. I said three, four. <laughs> Moving on. Jen, I'm so sorry, Jen. I, I want to root for Jen so bad, but she's stuck with that man. But look Sasha, here, I can, look here, I can root for Jen, just not pink slip. 
Never. <laughs> Doing a cha cha to Flowers by Miley Cyrus. I love that song. That's a good song, Miley. But she, I feel like she was stiff at the beginning, but she got comfortable throughout the dance. But it's the same shit we see every season from Sasha, which is annoying to me. Like I said, I wanted to give him a clean slate and hope that he was going to put something different on the floor. And of course, he gave us the same stupid shit that we always see. And I feel like she has so much potential and she could grow to be something better than what she's going to be on the show because she stuck with Sasha. She had any other pro. I feel like she would have even even if she had Alan, even if she had Brandon, even if she had Pasha, I feel like she would have done a lot more than what she's going to be doing here. And that's all I gotta say. I'm sad. Even though they had to leave, even though they had to leave the Lisa rehearsal time because she was a last minute entry. I could never, I could never get with Sasha. I'm sorry, he got to go. Did they really? Yeah. Because yeah. did Dwight? Yeah, I saw Dwight and Dan barely rehearsed too. Oh, they yeah, barely, that's they barely. That's like, rehearsed. That's I think like they Dwight did, though. But, but like yeah, so for time like, yeah, purposes, it was Jen. Jen just got. She was added on to the day like, of. Like the day of the uh, like not season. even six hours later she was. Yeah. But I saw Daniela saying on like after the cast announcement it was like a whole week damn near and she was oh, like we finally man. had our first rehearsal. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's on Dwight. And then, oh, so okay, then Dwight prolonged that, but Jen in reality should have had the 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 I guess the yeah she should have she should have. But well, you got something to say about them? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. Jen looks good physically. Y'all ready for scores? Um, wait, because I am once again bachelor nation. Jen is my sister. Not only did they literally were racist on her season by making her get with a scammer. That's a whole other oh, thing. For real? <laughs> yeah, she got with a scammer, and he has like restraining wow. orders and stuff. It's crazy. But um, what? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, it's a whole thing. It's and they let him on the show, and he passed. Yes, he passed the psych test. Yes, my yes. God. I don't know if they do psych tests, but anyway, justice for my sister Jean. They, they have to do psych tests <laughs> with those men. Well, the best. No, I don't know no, nothing. But uh, they did my sister so wrong. She's so pretty, body is key, all that. I will never, ever, ever be commenting on her dancing with Redacty. I'm sorry. I will only be commenting <laughs> on what I want for her with um, Danny. That's her new showman. I will be commenting on that. But everything else will not get a comment on me. He didn't know how to choreograph. So why would I even sit up here and waste my breath? He had her do that stupid little jump thing he has all his partners do. I know the, I know the, I know. I know the playbook. I know the playbook. <laughs> That's what I know what you're doing. We all we all know the format by that with Sasha. Exactly. It's nothing. He's gonna have her do next, y'all. He gonna have her do that little skip, skip, skip. You know the playbook. He gonna have her. God, I'm I'm aggravated thinking about it. You know the playbook, <laughs> y'all. Y'all know. Uh, you know what's scores. They gave her a seven, a six, a six, and a nineteen out of thirty. My score for the dance as a whole, which is really her, a five. He got the lowest choreography score that I gave, and that is a three. Horrible, Sasha. You need to get fired. <laughs> he was Fuck fired. Out of here. <laughs> Remember, let's not. He was. I know. Damn, Jan. Damn. Where was Jan? Where was? Where was in the chest celebrating? I was like, the black, the black troop guy. Can we get like Sasha to disappear? Too tall, though. Can but then again, him, like any of yeah, fired yeah. Mid, like early in the season, can we get him fired? Mm-hmm. Anyway, anyway, I guess I'll give y'all score. Choreo score negative one hundred, and then her <laughs> dancing ability is six. Choreo three and five. Choreo three, Gen six. Okay, all right. This was the one that I was wanting to see. And y'all know we're not a fan of Brandon because, and the reason why I'm not a fan is I'm hard on him because we are black. I We don't get to see too many black people on this show. So I want the ones that are on here to want to win. He don't be wanting to win because he don't apply himself. He has every opportunity. He's had multiple opportunities with multiple different dancers that could go far and the reason they did not go far was because of him. It wasn't because of them. It was because of him. Mm-hmm. So when I saw Chandler, 
I didn't know who Chandler was before she was casted. Um, kid and Lily let me know. But then I found out that she danced. I was like, okay, we're going to see how this goes. Then I saw the TikToks. I said, oh, she's better than him. Got more rhythm than him. This is going to be interesting. Brandon. I said, Brandon, if you fuck this up, I swear for God. I'm going to go to LA and I'm going to fire you. But <laughs> The first step that she made in this dance, she did that little over sway throw, that throw, that arm she threw and threw her back with it too. I said, okay, okay. And then it just got better and better and better. The frame was perfect. The footwork was perfect. She was sharp when she needed to be. She was slow when she needed to be. That shit was damn near perfect to me. I felt like I was watching Charlie. Oh, T. That's a good comparison. Um, okay, I didn't know where this girl I seen her before, but I didn't actually know. I don't watch those shows, PLL, that spin off. Um Mr. Brandon, you're on the clock. If you do not get into the finale with Chandler, then you should probably be fired. So there's well not probably. You should definitely be fired. Should. There's no way. And they got you. They got his replacement right there in his face. Exactly. There's literally no way you can't at least get to... And I'm, like, trying to not even be... Because I could be nasty and say you should be fired if you don't win with her. But I'm going to give you because you ain't never won before. So, finale. Let's... Yo, you need to get to the finale, child. Because what is this? This... Has he ever been in a finale? No. I know he has. He's been on, like, no, six or seven not. seasons. Six or seven exactly. seasons, never I'm made it past. Gonna, exactly. I'm not just going to put the pressure on him to win because I don't know if he can win. I... So no. finale, you it? have to win. No, you yeah, have I'm to win. win. This girl is the best one on this show. I understand that, but like, there's. Been, I'm, I'm, trying to think of somebody, I'm trying to think of somebody that way. Actually, no. Usually, the best dancer does like if they're so much better, they usually do win. I'm trying to. We think y'all understand this. Win. We have not had you two years ago. You told me we have not had a black a black woman win since who? Oh, Amber, Amber Riley. 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 We need it. She's the best shot because she got the personality. And I love the fact, I forgot to mention it. I love the fact that she does not shy away from the fact that she does have dance experience. Y'all can't mm -hmm. hate on her because that's the thing with a lot of people that do come on the show with dance experience. They don't stand in it. They don't own it. That Yes, I did dance. She said, once a dancer, always a dancer. Where's the lie? So now y'all can't hate on her. But she got that. She's got the ability She's person. She got personality. So y'all can't yeah. put that bullshit like y'all pulled last season with Charity. She's oh, not yeah, born. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's got everything that you need to win the show, and it's and gonna come down to the skill. Like Charity and all those other girls, like Charity, his other partners, even even like Tanache to an extent. There was like a level of it. Like there would be something to the eye that was like a little bit wrong that he had to fix. He doesn't really have to fix anything mm -hmm. with his girl. He just has to add on. I, he so just has I don't. To keep her. Exactly. He's that's what I'm he, that's what I'm saying. he doesn't have to fix anything. Well, all his partners, he, there was an element that he had to fix to them, which is why it was impossible for him to um, do what he needed to do. But this choreography was a step in the right, a minimal step in the right direction. It looked better than what he did in his past. So I will give him uh, his sixes. I'm not going to go too far to give him anything else, but we are. I'll give you, yo, yeah, you did that a little bit. I don't get the obsession with Brandon in this fandom. I'm trying to understand it, but y'all can have that. If he wins with this girl, y'all can, can celebrate it. and throw a parade. If he does not Y'all can have it, because I've never apologized to if, that if, man. No, but I'm saying, if she doesn't win, I'm bullying all the Brandon fans. I'm telling y'all right now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what? All <laughs> what? I tweeted that, and all that was coming in my, all that was coming in my comments talking about, what are you whacking him for? I whack like Brandon just to whack like Brandon because he can't dance. Because we still got too long for him to miss this girl. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got nine weeks. I'm not giving him no tens right now. Like, he's got nine weeks. Y'all want me to apologize for week Y'all want me to apologize for week one knowing Brandon is going to Oh, gonna, but that's also, the song was horrible. I did not like the song. What was that? Yeah, I didn't like the song. Oh, either. my God. I love the song. Oh, did you like No, the I think it was very. That was Chappelle, Chappelle Rowe, right? Chapel Rowan, yeah, I thought it was really, I thought it was actually like really smart of them to dance to that song. Oh, okay, that wasn't her though, was it? I think it was. Wait, I didn't like it, but she she I made it work. 
I that didn't was see the, band, the person. Right? That was it had to be the band. Because that song sounded a mess. I hope that wasn't really her. <laughs> that was, no, let me stop. I know, I don't know, right? All I know is Brandy, you're on the clock, you're lucky, but you'll get your Yeah, her seven, lines are gorgeous though. Her lines yeah, are gorgeous. Legs, her le- oh I'm God. sorry, that body is that insane. Body got me. That yeah, body she's so got pretty. Me. How old is she? You know how old she is, kid. Uh, I want to say 24. 24, I think. Yeah, that's not 24. 24. Two youngest one on the show. Can I get this off? Can I get this off? No, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Can I not say, as someone who watched her on Vogue, yeah, you like, man, zombie. Well, I got to yeah. look at something real quick. I'll get back yeah, to you. I'm weak. As someone who watched her on both <laughs> the shows and movies she was on, yeah, she's going far. Yeah. I, Brandon needs I to keep her. She's giving me um. This is not a good how. Well, no, she's twenty four, so that's not a good cop. No, I'm gonna shut up. Who? I think she was giving okay. me a good Damn she, it! She was giving, giving you me, who? I is it not like her, the way she dances, but like the story arc of her not being. I think she could be a star after this, like Zendaya when she got on Dancing with oh, the yeah. Stars. She wasn't like a star, and then she took off after the show. I think that, took off. Like, yeah, I can going. see it. I can see it. Stores. <laughs> she got. Um, they gave her the first eight of the season, so she got two eight. Yeah, Nancy Black. 30. <laughs> I gave her. <laughs> I gave her a nine for her dance in total. Mm-hmm. That it was borderline about to be a ten, but um. Choreography score, Brandon got a seven for me. I gave him a seven too. And I gave her I can't I just I think she got more in her sleep. So I gave her eight. I gave her eight. Because I think she's got more. Mm-hmm. So seven, I gave her eight. eight. I can oh, score I Brandon guess. because I feel like she's gonna make anything he gives her look really fucking good. But <laughs> I don't know if that can keep her in. Yeah, I, so. respectfully, I gave I gave her a diet. And I gave her what she gave for nine and so. Okay. All right, we are moving on. Dwight Howard's weird ass and Daniela <laughs> Carter <laughs> doing Jenny, a salsa. Jenny, I'm so sorry. Jenny, I'm so sorry doing a salsa. Was, I'm so sorry. No, but he's weird. But I I don't feel like it's a setup. I feel like they're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> this is how we do it. Montel, uh, he was having fun. Like he was having fun. Daniela, 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 Daniela. She knows. That's what I always give her the niggas. Like she knows how to make shit work when it comes to this type of music. Mm-hmm. So she made she made him look good, but he was definitely he was enjoying it. Like you could tell he was having a ball. Is he the best dancer on the show? No. Is he the best man on the show? No. No. Do I think they're gonna at least get to like week eight? Maybe. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. They can get to the quarterfinals. Now after that is where we have discussions. Actually, they might get to the finals depending on these fan bases. They might. <laughs> so oh, yeah. this, we gotta start being real. This is. Mm, because I do want to go on a rant, but I'm not going to go on a rant. But this is stupid. Don't this want is, it. You know, this is dumb. I'm tired of this. This is literally stupid. They do this on purpose. They want her to carry with the choreography. They give her these dumb ass partners. They're trying to make an Iman part two. I already know what they're doing. This is just silly. But the thing is, like, it's not going to work to, like, win, of course. They're not going to win the show. But um, it could work to get him to the finals. But it's just I don't want to see her, like, struggle with this dancer. I've seen her struggle with dancers before. That's cool. I know it's gonna I know she's gonna make them look like they can do something. We've she's Say already it. passed that test. Why are we still trying to give her projects? She's already passed the project. Say it. She does all Say, it. <laughs> Say it. She needs a she damn ringer. Why is she not it. having some like why has she not gotten somebody that can dance? Like we've watched her Daddy, literally Daddy. create and teach people how to dance. Give, and the fact that she can put this type of work on people that can't dance, we want to see what she can do with somebody that can keep up with her. Because if she can put this type of stuff together, the type of shit she can put on somebody that can keep up with her, exactly. they haven't won an Emmy. Like, she will she will bring all the Emmys home to the show. But also, I'm confused because in this cast, if we just do this cast, because she wasn't going to get... I guess there's no... They didn't want a good black 
man dancer this season. Um, who's supposed to be the ringer this season for men? Is it supposed to be Joey? I guess the, I, the people. No, the people think the Steven? people think it's Steven, but we okay, we're gonna exactly. get to him. But we're gonna do reality. Oh, so on in reality, based off this week, it's Joey. So um, Joey yeah. is supposed to be the ringer. Joey and Dan. Now he is not a black man. She would have ate with Joey. I don't care what nobody said. They could have gave her Joey this season. Why did I have to see her with Dwight? I seen her with a black man before who is tall and is a basketball player. She made him entertaining. Great job. We didn't need to do it again. There did not need to be a part two of this. <laughs> I don't understand. We got just laughing. We could just laugh. They're trying, to, they trying out, to make us like the white. They're trying to make us like the white. And that's just actually no, crazy. Never. They're trying to make it's it. not gonna happen. Exactly. Not I'm, gonna happen. Eat up the, I'm gonna eat up the choreo. And she did have him moving. This is the one thing I do respect about Danny. She don't let them slack. She's not going to sit up there and have you dance around her. No, you're going to get up and move your feet, too. You're going to move your body. She's not, she's not playing with you. So I respect her always. She'll always be mother. But this show is playing her face. If I was her, I would be like, I will not come into work next season if I do not get Omarion or somebody on my desk. I need to- Right. <laughs> I need a ringer. I need a ringer, yeah. Dina. Let's, 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 let's go I'll on the field. field. I don't have to put Dancing with the Stars on the clock. You know how they put people on the clock? <laughs> well, I don't think they put people on the clock. That's the problem. But she should put them on the clock. <laughs> Y'all on the clock. Come on. Don't play with my sister no more. Next. <laughs> Same. Quick thoughts? Same. Okay. Thing. You can't top that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right, of course. Because we got four more dances to get through. Oh, I so, gave the corner uh, eight, eight and him a five. He performed you a five. Yeah, you know, I gave Corio a ten and I gave him a six point five. Oh my so, gosh. The Corio was really good. It. She deserves a good. ten because I'm tired of them playing with her. Like Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I gave it a nine. I gave Corio a nine and the dance like a Six point five two. It was. Okay, I was with Lily on the. I was. I was with Lily on the choreo. It was an eight for me. I gave him a six. The whole dance itself a six. But yeah, they got an eight. Which Carrion, get off the drugs. Like you literally gave <laughs> Chandler an eight, and you gave Joey a seven. This was not better than Joey, and this was not on the same level as Chandler. Like, what the you hell are you? What are you, you smoking, Carrie? But did early. you see how she tried to compare them? Why was she even doing that? Why did she set him up like this? Like, the fuck are you like, talking girl, about? We it? already know. Like, like, yeah, woman hater already active because you're put, you're playing the mind. But really, it's funny because why she have him lift him um, lift her up and then she just stared at the. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny. Was like, Give me somebody else. Don't play with me. That was really her saying that. <laughs> All right. We're moving to poor Brit. God bless her soul. She is with Eric, some old man I ain't never seen before. Old time and rock and roll. Like was this a cha cha? Um, yeah. so. He was off the timing from jump. I was like, as soon as it started, I said, please be Barry. Please be Barry. Please be Barry for Brit's sake. And then he got off time and he did not get back on. He was singing his ass off though. But Britt looked good. Britt looked good. But that's it. <laughs> that's all I got for it. Yeah. I don't have any notes. I just have a score. One score. Y'all ready to get to it? One score. I said he didn't One do score. the step. Um, bye. Good for him. <laughs> Simple. Scores, they got three fives. Generous as fuck. 15 out of 30. My score for the dance, Britt, I love you to death. I love you down. Let me just give you your score. Her score is a six. The dance itself was a one. That shit was horrible. It was worse than uh, Reginald. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was worse than Reginald. Oh, yeah. Because, like I said, Britt, she tried to make him dance as she should as a teacher, but she should have took Emma's strategy. She should have danced around that man and made him stand there. Yeah, I gave it a two. I gave it a two. Well, I'm trying to see. Oh, I was nice. I gave them a three. I just feel like we should like get in the realm of very the, nice. The realm of what they would do, even though they would never give out a three, probably even do it like hell no. We're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not doing what they would do. But cool. shout out to the troop. Let's get the troop. Oh, you gotta be the six. Shout mm-hmm. out to the troop. I feel like all four of these dancers, I feel like they should be on the show. Shout out to Stephanie. I'm not a real big fan of her brother. 
But me and Stephanie, like social media friends, like we've been following each other on social media for a minute. And she should have been on this show for a while. She's been interviewing, and I'm glad she finally got on here. But shout out to Marquette. We got a real nigga on the show, another nigga on the show. Let's let's get another black woman dancer on the show to do with Brit. Let's do that. Roman, he was killing it on So You Think You Can Dance. So I knew he was gonna get on here. And then Kaylin, she was like a break the floor girl. So she was on the dance, the dance awards type circuit. So they got some good dancers, so good for them. Mm-hmm. Next, our favorite, Phaedra Parks, with our not favorite, the culture vulture. And we're gonna be watching you this season to see when you decide to try and pull out that black scent, Val. <laughs> and I bet you won't say nigga around hey, yeah. Phaedra Parks, but okay. I'm about to say, <laughs> do that. I, I should have thought, it's should, little, should, little shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Cha Cha to I'm Every Woman by Whitney Houston, perfect song for her. And she was getting it. That's all I can say. Rhythm can't be taught. She was out there getting it. Like I was, I was very, very impressed. I saw what I thought I was going to see from her, and I was happy that I saw it. Wait, I actually, okay, Phaedra is hilarious. She actually has to go all the way until like quarterfinals. She has to get to quarterfinals. She's hilarious. Quarterfinals and semifinals. She has to. I'm like, I'm sorry. She literally does. Because when she walked in, she's just so quick and witty. Like, she wanted Max, right? Yeah, she did. I don't, she just wanted Max because they was on trade. Yes. (laughs) Wait, what happened? I know. She wanted him because they were on trade. She killed it on trade. Um, yeah, she killed it. She's so yeah, she did. I, she's like made for TV. Like she's just so charismatic and funny. I live in the the way they had her in the trader hoodies. <laughs> yeah, the trader? No. Oh, when, I was when, like, when why is she out, wearing was, that robe? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like <laughs> it's not the trader. Not the trader's hoodie. I was crying. And then they had her rise up like she Jesus. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I live by, but she really was shaking those hips. Like, there's a little, uh, she's got to have like refinement to her movement, of course. There's a little softness there. Yeah. But like, mm-hmm. actually, if you look at her, like, she was doing the step. Like, she just has to get her front half to match her bottom half because it does seem like out of, yep, out of sync. But out of she, sync. Uh, you can tell she can move her hips for sure. And that little section where he had her like groove a little bit, like that's where you can tell like she has a natural feel for it. She just gotta get used to choreography. I'm really like excited for her because I feel like the more she like as weeks go by, the more she gets used to this, she's gonna actually do good. And I know Val, like I'm never gonna give him credit, but he does know how to like make somebody look good on this show, at least look good. So she is. I'm so glad she didn't end up with Brandon or somebody that was probably gonna have her looking up like a mess. But um, yeah, she's with Val. He's gonna put out a dance that's gonna look presentable, and she's gonna get high scores because they're obsessed with him. So thank you. I I win. Thank I win you, Val. Thank that. you, Val, for being you. Thank yes. you, Val, for being useful. Thank you, Val. For- she a black woman. He still wanna Val. So oh, Lord, I can just, I can just see the freestyle right now, but I'm away. Yeah, you don't hear. He, he, all of a sudden, he got a, a, a attraction to Phaedra. You don't even like black women. Shut up. Why would he see <laughs> you? You're lying. You're lying. I knew it. The funny, thing. All right. The funny, Any final thoughts before we get funny, these scores? The funny thing is, I can't actually, I can't actually wait to see her do a rumba. Oh. <laughs> she'll do good with that. Cause it's slow and controlled. Yeah. She'll be able to do that. A rumba a fox shot would definitely be her strong one. You think so? I think what's the other thing? Anything Latin. Yeah, I mean I anything think, Latin. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Samba. I'm excited for her. Oh, a samba my death or a samba. Oh, anything she can Anything she can move them hips and shake that ass, she got it. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna be fine. Argentine, Argentine she got natural <laughs> rhythms. I don't. I don't see any dancer she could do that would be bad. Maybe a jive, but yeah, oh. I think yeah, a jive, a jive. I think she'd be straight. Uh, yeah. He'll Scores. Out. Choreo. I gave him a uh, a seven, and then I gave her a six. Literally, I said seven me too. Both. I didn't do seven. Look at y'all. Okay. Well. <laughs> Seven six six seven or uh, seven six six nineteen out of thirty. Carrie Ann actually did something right because she got her out of that exactly. pack where a lot of the people had eighteen. But okay, two more. 
I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name, Steven the Gymnast. He's the first male gymnast mm-hmm. to get on the show with Riley. The fact that she got a ringer before Britt got one again and before Danny even got one, exactly. I'm aggravated. But then again, I can see why they did it because he's youthful like her too. So it would make sense, but whatever. I feel like a lot of people were expecting these two to be like super duper fantastic, but I knew it wasn't going to be that way because I'm like, and this was the this was the best dance for him though. But when it gets to these Latin dances that he's going to have to do later on, it's going to be rough and it's going to look rough. And this is where Riley's going to have to show if she's really a good teacher or not. Yes, she got stuck with Harry last season who, regardless of what she was doing, he was going to suck. But she still didn't, I didn't see any improvement from Harry all season. But Riley, you got you got the pick of the litter essentially. So we're going to see what you can do. I will say this was probably her best piece of choreography I've seen from her. Obviously, he's very athletic. She played on to that. She played on to his flexibility, which was smart. It wasn't bad though. It wasn't his. It wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. But he definitely is a nerd. You can tell he's a nerd. You can tell he's a geek. <laughs> but I guess it's endearing. But we'll see how far that takes them. But that's all I got to say. I, like I mean, it was there. Oh, go. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I like that there's an innocence to their partnership instead of when they were trying to force her to be with Harry oh. because that's just vile. And I think yeah, they great. have good energy. The dance was... The way we like, did call bullies that, last year for that? I feel I feel like she probably feels a lot more comfortable with dancing with Stephen, which is really nice to see. Because yeah, I will, she looks more happy. I saw Derek like, you tell, um, Derek told Jen, oh, Sasha is the per- like, what the fuck? Why are we encouraging these weird ass age gaps? Like, no. I know, because ain't Jen like, what, 25, 26? Yeah. Sasha? Well, Sasha's no. like, yeah, Sasha's like 40, but he looks like he's hey. about 70. I was going to say. <laughs> that face is yeah, that face only a mother could love. Yeah. 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 Ye
it's like okay so what what you finna do like you the one that's got to take me up here now exactly and that's gonna show if riley is really cut for this pro shit she don't got that like, uh, she don't got that she don't so like, there's no she, you, can, you can't you can't hop, you can't hop even, out there no exactly more. Steven at work. least knows how to move so it, it won't be no it's him it really won't be it's gonna be she and brandon if you Her and Brandon are in the same boat with me yeah. this year. The two of them, it's time for y'all to show up. Like, cause Brandon, you, you, Riley got a little bit more room and a little bit more space, but your job is on the line. And they got your replacement sitting right there with uh, Marquette. Riley, your replacement is, you got two replacements. Even though Stephanie is Spanish, that girl is ready to go. She is raring to get out there and get her damn pro. And then you got Caitlin, who, is literally a jack of all trades. He's damn near Jenna Johnson Jr. So time to put up a shut up. Yeah. But scores? Go ahead. Uh, I seven. Yeah, I gave I gave her choreo a seven. I actually did like the choreo. I gave him a six. There was some elements of oh, yeah. that I wanted him to do like better. But, That's yeah. how that was like, yeah, I yeah, it was, seven. seven and seven. I had the same as Rose. I gave him a seven. I didn't think it was that bad. <clears throat> but I thought I she thought did he, good choreography. So I agree. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just as good as Val and Baker. Like they both have room to improve, but it was good for the first week. Mm-hmm. Let's get to the criminal. All right. <laughs> I was gonna say last one. Let's get let's get to Miss Ankle Bracelet. Like she like oh, it's an <laughs> ankle monitor, girl. Stop playing. So I, I got an ankle monitor. bracelet. <laughs> but Oh, and they got straight sevens across, 21 out of 30. But um, Dancing to Espresso by that Sabrina Carpenter girl who I just got put on to like a week or two ago who got some good music. Such a good song for... That dance was so funny to me. I didn't, I didn't write any notes down. I said it was very... Y'all heard that crowd? The dance was, I didn't even hear that The dance crowd. was fucking hilarious. It was silent. <laughs> yeah, they I were not moving by that. It was very good. You said it was what? I think it's very ghetto to promote mm-hmm. ankle monitors. And I did not take any notes or give any scores. <laughs> but that's what the motherfucker that's like. She got... No, the, the way they zoomed in on it. The zoom in. <laughs> like, like, that was crazy. And then, they, and then they, have, they have it designed to match her outfit. You're bedazzling like so a damn ankle monitor. For a fucking criminal, and I guarantee you, if she honestly, if she was black, I don't think she'd be well received. She's not. I don't think she's well received, but I feel like a lot of the fans oh, are. She's not. If she was her, black, she wouldn't be cast on this show. Exactly. Yeah. If she was black, we were and if she was, was they'd be pitchforks. <laughs> but <laughs> honestly, though, I did not like. I didn't like the dance. I didn't like the choreography. I thought the choreography was. Subpar. It was very stop starty, very posy. Mm-hmm. But as Ezra, dead as she is, her 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 personality, her humor, I understand it because I got dry humor too. And I don't know what it is about her. She is funny to me. She mm-hmm. kind of reminds me of a serial killer. The way she mm-hmm. says stuff so like deadpan. That mm-hmm. shit cracked me up. <laughs> She's hilarious. What kept blowing me is, do y'all know this? Story about this woman? What, it, what is she? Really? Really? What is about gr- is I know that she has know um, a sh- yeah, she has that show inventing Anna on Netflix. Oh. I think. But well, like, what did she get arrested for? Yeah, what is she grand doing? larceny. I think they're like scamming. Oh, so she a like real? Oh, she's she's a queen. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, yeah, she's, yeah, she's <laughs> actual, I thought she like committed an actual like. I'm sorry, I don't. No, she's, she's an actual. actual, actual we need her camera like, like, on this show. <laughs> oh, she's just a. Scammy. Well, she's a mess. Like, okay, I thought that she. I just, think, but just, the scammy she, she like, did was something. She scam poor like people. Crazy t- t- did she I, scam old people? Yeah, like poor old people. She pulled a Jen Shaw, but it was worse. Probably like big corporations. Oh, she was scamming the elderly. Oh, what are I you nasty so. then? If oh, she was scamming, okay, if she was scamming some, if she was scamming some young folks, yeah, like, fuck her. If she was scamming some, if, if she was scamming some young folks, I would have laughed at it. But scamming old people, people you, yeah. So why would they call her? A, well, she was calling herself a fashionista. She was trying to not call herself. A, she was like, I'm a fashionista, an entrepreneur. Like what? Oh, it says. 
she scammed countless people, hotels, and banks using invalid credit cards and fake bank statements to create the illusion of wealth. <laughs> <laughs> and she had a whole foundation. It's not funny, but it's so funny. Club. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not funny, but it's funny. Scores. <clears throat> they got a four for the me. Video. Play the just say what? With Phaedra A. Her up. I'm sorry. That's all. I'm sorry. I'm dead. I know what you're talking about. You can't this go that far. I know, but I forget exactly what it was, but I know what she's talking about. Scores. Because we've been on here okay, an hour okay. and 10 minutes. A six and five. I was six. thinking. I, I, said a, I said four for both. Rose? Yeah. I didn't give them a score. Away. <laughs> <See, laughs> well, they got straight sixes across the board, 18 out of 30. So as we know, <clears throat> yes, they did. I swear to God. Wait, an uh, eight? They got sixes across the board, 18 oh, out of 30. Oh, I was like, wait, do I see? Shit. All right, y'all. That was the premiere. First episode back. We're going to add a segment going forward. We want y'all, because we don't be in the tea as much as y'all. If y'all the diehard fans, if y'all got some tea about what's going on each week, I'm going to put our socials in the info box. Drop it there, because we want to talk about it later. We're going to talk about <clears throat> Nikki and Artem next week, because that shit is crazy. And I got some thoughts. Sure, they got some thoughts. We're going to talk about that shit next week. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, we're doing the pre-record right now. Y'all let us know in the comments if y'all want to do it live. It's going to be easier to get it out to y'all quicker because this is probably going to take a minute for me to post it. So drop that down below because y'all have to actually be there. <laughs> y'all have to come to the live and watch us live as we break it down. But let us know if y'all want to do that or do the recordings as normal. But let's wrap this shit up because I my computer is about to die. But um, y'all know what to do. Thumbs up the videos, y'all. Drop your comments down below. Subscribe Send if you're it to new here. I'm trying to hit 5K. And we'll see y'all next week. Peace.